All right, I did a quick poll on should I do a quick video on what macros are, kind of what I talk about in my book. So here it goes to give you a brief introduction, see if you understand them from here. So there's three macros, protein, fats, and carbs. Protein is of the animal proteins that we're aware of, like chicken, turkey, meat. Um, there's also plant-based proteins like tofu. Those are your proteins. Then there are carbs. Carbs is a big one. There's so many things that can fall in as carbs. Um, the breads, the rice, the pastas, all that stuff. The fruits are also carbs because the sugar. Um, uh, I don't know, carbs, there's a ton of them. And there's a lot of foods also that will fall into proteins and carbs, a combination of both. Um, and I'm also gonna provide a list of macros, proteins, fats, and carbs for you guys to refer to after this video. Um, and there's the fats. Fats are also a wide range. Um, the oils, the butters, um, the nuts. Cheese is also a fat. So those are your three, proteins, carbs, and fats. Now, when it comes to macros, you have to have a good balance of those in your diet so that you can reach a healthy weight or reach your goals. You can't have 90% carbs and then 20% protein. Once you have a balance of those, then you reach your goals better. You also have to make sure that you eat the right one. So there's different kinds of carbs, right? Simple, complex, good or bad carbs. Um, fruits um, are fruits, vegetables are all good forms of carbs. They're non-processed and they are digested easier by the body. Then there's other forms of carbs, which are not like the bread, the cookies, the pastries, all that stuff. Um, now, when it comes to foods that fall in both sides of, or all three categories, for example, pizza. Pizza has bread on it, so that's carbs. Then it has cheese, that's fat, and you might have some chicken on top, so that is protein as well. So that's a food that has all three macros in one. And a cheeseburger, same thing. The bread is the carbs, the meat is the protein. There's probably some oil in there when you cook it, that's the fat along with the cheese. And then you have some vegetables on there too. Also fall kind of in the carbs category, but they're the better, uh, the better carbs. Um, fries, all carbs, but you also have fat in there in the oil. So once you figure out what the macros are, then people are so confused in how to track them. Oh, I don't wanna do the math. I don't wanna have to add up all these grams of every single thing I eat. And how do I keep track of it and all that stuff. That's where the tracking apps come in. All you do is either scan a food item if it's in a package or enter it um, from a restaurant or just enter it from home. If you're having one apple, you add that. Um, and then it does all the work for you. It tallies up all the grams approximately. It gives you a nice pretty macros graph so you can see in colors if you're higher on fats, if you're higher on carbs. If you look and check it throughout the day and you see I'm pretty low on carbs, I need to increase them, then you know what you're gonna need to eat. If you're too low on fats, then you know what you need to add the fats instead. It really is that easy. Once you learn what macros are and you learn how to use the tracking app, which I teach you in my macros ebook, um, and you estimate your macros needs for the day and your calories, the rest is simple. And I teach you all of that in the book. All you do is start adding in your food and you can start tracking throughout the day. So if you have like an event at night where you know you're gonna want a big meal, you're gonna eat a lot of carbs, you're gonna have drinks, throughout the day you just start tracking your macros. You make sure you're low on probably your carbs and your fats because most food that you eat out, appetizers, stuff like that, eat some lean protein, and then by the time you get to your meal at night, having your cocktails, having your dinner, your dessert, you're still on track because you've tracked your macros and you see where you're at. No counting, no calculations, none of that needed. So I hope this has helped you, and I hope that if you need more help, you'll reach out. The Macros eBook has helped so many people. It explains this more in detail. It gives you all the graphics you need to understand it, how to read nutrition labels, and it includes a meal plan and recipe. So if you're interested, drop me a comment or send me a message and I'd love to teach you more.